Hello! With this epic intro, a la Champions League, we are going to do a team building session of uh, this month's online tournament format, Champion League. It is a free versus free singles where only Pokemon used by the in-game champions are allowed, except Gardevoir, I guess it's because the Mega Gardevoir doesn't ex exist in Sword Shield. And uh, I'll also be in the background hunting Shiny Snowmi. If I find it, I, I can share you some codes for you to join me while I arrive. And uh, let's get this party started. Uh, I'll go check out the rules to show you. Actually, I, I have my team already built. Uh, I'll, I'll show it in a, in a few moments. But first, where is the null set? There you go. Since, it, since the, the format only has a, a few Pokémon, I can do an overview about them and, and show you what, what may be viable to use or not. So there you go, singles battle. Only Pokémon used by previous region champions into battle. So here we got the three Kanto starters, Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise. Uh, those three may be interesting. The, the first two may be interesting for Sun teams. Venusaur and Charizard can do things. Uh, you can, for example, use Ninetales with, with uh, Drought. Ninetales is, is allowed, as I, I I can show you right now. And uh, it, it can have Eject Bottom. You, you get the free switch into Venusaur or Charizard, then you can Dynamax turn 1. And then you know the drill. Uh, Charizard will probably have heavy duty boots. Blastoise can also be viable because it has rapid spin to counter rocks, it has shell smash, it has uh, strong water moves, G Max Cannonade. Uh, this, this for, I don't see much usage for Sun Slash. Ninetales, like I said, it can be used for Sun teams. Arcanine can be used for Intimidate. It's, an inter it's, a, it, it's a fat Pokemon, maybe interesting. Alakazam, it may be interesting as well to hit hard if choice score for specs in the endgame. Uh, where else? Tentacruel, it, it, it has rapid spin, toxic spikes, it can be an interesting choice as well. Magneton, I don't see any decent usage for this. Uh, Cloyster, it has Shell Smash, it has nice bulk. It, it, can, it can be a, a great choice for this format. It's one to to consider bringing to the to a, to a team. Executor, I don't really see it working. It, it may be used in some teams, but it's Usually it's not the best Pokemon for that. Uh, what else? Rhydon, Gardos, Lapras, Vaporeon. Okay. Uh, Rhydon, I don't see it being used as well. So maybe someone will remember to use Eviolite or stuff like that. <laughs> but I don't think so. Uh, you have the Gardos and Lapras, two solid choices. Gardos with Intimidate or Moxie, very dangerous in singles formats. Lapras with G-Max Resonance also a threat. Vaporeon, oh did you know that Vaporeon, <laughs> um, Vaporeon can have nice book, also has Baton Pass and stuff. Jolteon Flareon, Jolteon can be interesting for fast bolt switches, but not a very appealing Pokemon at all. For, because of the power creep with Dynamax and stuff. Flareon Aerodactyl, Flareon I don't see it being used much here. There are better fire types. Uh, Aerodactyl can be used for faster rocks and tailwind. I don't see it being used other than that. Dragonite always very good in uh, overused formats. So I see it being a strong choice here with multi scale and uh, Dragon Dance. Maybe a good sweeper for with weakness policy as well. Now I'm going to start spoiling my team. 
uh, I considered bringing her across, but then I decided something else, which I will show later. And across with choice scarf for choice spell may be interesting to use for late game when the opponent has Dynamax used already. Uh, Skarmory is one I'm bringing for rocks, body press, and uh, physical bulk. It's nice. Uh, Tyranitar, actually, hello about Skippy on wheezing action. <laughs> uh, Tyranitar. Actually, Tyranitar, if I look up correctly, I think uh, Sandslash can use Sandstorm with Sandrush, not sure. If so, then Tyranitar can be a good partner for that. No Tyranitar Excadrill here. Or, wait, is Excadrill legal? I'm curious. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, Tyranitar, okay. Tyranitar is, is overall good. It may use weakness policy strats as well, if it also has stealth rocks. Overall it's interesting to use here. Ludicolo, it's good for rain, but I don't think we will see much rain here. But someone may remember to use fake out and set up rain in itself by Max Geyser. Agron also has strong bulk, stealth rocks, body press, maybe an interesting choice. Waylord, eh, Water Spout, Scarf, could be interesting, not anything really special. Altaria can cancel weathers with Cloud9. Unfortunately, it's not as good here as in Pokemon Go, <laughs> but could be a choice. Wishcash, eh, not really a good choice. Claydol, maybe interesting for Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin. Other than that, I don't see it being used. Cradley is another Pokemon I'm using. I'm, I actually have a weird set. I, I may change it while laddering next. It's a set based on uh, uh, leeching HP from the opponent. I'll show you later. Armaldo may be interesting for a rain team. Uh, Milotic is, is strong, a strong choice here. Melotic, Salamence, Meteoros, strong choices actually, all, all, all of them. Uh, Melotic can have bulk, competitive, Marvel scale, it can be whatever you want. Salamence has Intimidate, Dragon Dance, can hit hard. There's a fucking mosquito here, let's see if I killed it, no. Oh, actually I did. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I must clean up my head. One moment. Alright, after slaying a boss hole is a super effective hand grabbing move, I can resume my explanation. So as I was saying, Salamence solid Pokemon, it's hard, fast, Dragon Dance, stuff like that, Intimidate, or Moxie. Uh, Metagross clear body, can have some bulk and strong offensive moves, very solid. Actually, it could be interesting to use the, the the ace Pokemon of each champion here in the in this format, like Charizard, Metagross, uh, Garchomp, uh, Dragonite, Volcarona. Uh, those those aces from each champion. <laughs> That's a team suggestion here. It's not what I'm going to use, but whatever. Uh, next. Rose Raid. Rose Raid can be. I think it has Quarrowfield, I don't remember. It may be outclassed by Venusaur. Venusaur has the G Max option. But it may be used, Rose Raid, a bit. We'll see. Gastrodon is also one of my staples in my team. 
always very solid, also a world champion in VGC. Uh, I'll show you my moveset for that. Uh, it can be bulky, it can disrupt the opponent's Dynamax with Yon. It's up to you to, to decide what, what you're gonna get. It's versatile, so yeah. Spirit Tomb may be interesting for Willow Wisps and stuff, and as in Yvonne. Garchomp, it's solid as usual. Can use Scale Shot to set up some faster speed or Swords Dance, and then Dynamax can do massive damage. Lucario, eh, I don't think it will be that good, but it will be interesting to use. Uh, Rhyperior, this is not early VGC, but considering the the Pokemon limitations, or shall I say, the ban list we have, it may be an interesting choice under Dynamax, using Solid Rock to tank, physical, to tank super effective moves, and, uh, you know, you can, you can use Solid Rock and Dynamax right away, bait the opponent to use a, a super effective move, and then you sweep. Simple strategy. It may work. Uh, Togaki is very, very solid for the crits. Uh, you can also... Uh, wait, I was thinking support Togaki, but, but this isn't VGC, so maybe not that good there. But yeah, you can nasty plot and start flinching or critical hitting people <laughs> with Togaki. It will be a strong option here. Uh, Seismitor could be nice, could be uh, maybe a weaker option, or maybe, shall I say, uh, a more offensive option than Gastrodon. Maybe interesting to use. Archaeops. Archaeops is a bit weird because of the, the stupid ability. Uh, but if you use st stuff like some berries and uh, HP recovering berries, so shall I specify? And uh, Meteor Beam, it could do some interesting damage. Uh, where else? Vanilux can be good for se set up Aurora Veal turn 1, and maybe for some Hail teams, although I don't think there will be Pokemon that can take advantage of that. Like, uh, the, the same way. Tranitar with Sunslash can do, but it can be a, a niche option. I actually considered it, but mm, eh, no. A Cavalier can be cool for Trick Room teams, and uh, it hits hard and is bulky. It may be interesting to use. And uh, under Dynamax, it can use Max Steel Spike and Max Quake to get even bulkier. Axor is, is maybe an inferior version to of, of Garchomp and Dragonite and all other dragons, but it still can be a decent option if you run Choice Band or Choice Scarf, or maybe even uh, Sash Dragon does, if that's viable, I don't know. Uh, a Selgor Final Gambit, nah, I don't think that will be very good. The Dragon, I don't think it's very viable here. Buffaland can be interesting. It has some interest in the anger point ability. If he takes a crit, then it's skyrocket. Oh, oh no, that's actually Taurus. Yeah, but uh, uh, no, Buffaland it uh, has up zipper. Uh, actually, I don't remember. Let me check. <laughs> uh, yeah, zap zipper. Never mind. Okay. Mm. Maybe it's not that good. Maybe to to use for choice band. Yeah. E dragon may be interesting as well. It's an, an, a different dragon. The dragon dark type is interesting. Maybe a good choice scarf pivot to you turn early game and uh, late game shooting draco meteors from the heavens. Volcarona. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use Volcarona. I think it's, it's a Pokemon I, I 
I like to use in Gen 5 overused. It's been a while since using it, so I guess I'll bring it back from the shadows for this format. You can set up in the face of some weaker Pokemon and then start Dynamaxing and throwing strong moves. It, will, it can surely neutralize the opponent easily if it starts steam, uh, you know, snowballing. Ayagi Slash can is a, is a great Pokemon for singles competition. King's Shield, Swords Dance, very strong choice. I considered, considered using it, but I decided to go with a different Steel type and a different Ghost type as well. More, more to come <laughs> on that. Uh, Tyrantrum are all those. Eh. I don't I don't think Tyrantrum will suit this format very well. Are all those eh. the same? Uh, okay, Alucha is a Pokemon I will go I'm going to use. It's actually a, vi a very interesting Pokemon with the, the Unburden and Swords Dance pairing and also the Power Herb or White Herb uh, items. This, this boy can turn games around in a pinch. I'll show you that first hand when I ladder. Carving uh, other than Rock Sentry Plume, I don't see any good usage on that. I think it may have Screeds, but... I I don't think it's worth it. Gudra is a strong dragon. It's a solid choice. It can be offensive, can be more defensive. It can be as you wish. A wide, a wide array of coverage moves. Very good. Gurgeist eh. can be good for Willow Wisp, for each seed, and stuff like that. Uh, not the best grass type because, like I said, there's stuff like Venusaur that may be more useful, and also this bad boy called Rillaboom here with Grassy Glide and uh, Grassy Terrain and Fake Out. All strong options. Cindy will also be a major, a, a, like a major threat here because it's fast as fuck and hits hard. I'll have some uh, uh, some strategies to counter Cindy with uh, Dragapult, but I'll show that, that in a moment. Uh, Intellion may be interesting with Scarf or, or Specs. It gets out speed by, by Cindy and Dragapult, but can be a solid option regardless. Mr. Rhyme can be good for clearing screens away, but I don't think it's a solid choice. And last but not least, and also my my final choice for the team, Dragapult. It's very versatile. It's hard not to consider it for your team, so I'll show you what my Dragapult can do. Okay, so that you saw a sneak peek of my pocket paste, but I'll show it right here. The Reconnect, there you go, my team, there you go. So, Dragapult with Life Orb and Infiltrator. Why Infiltrator and why Life Orb? First of all, I want an offensive Dragapult. But also a Dragapult that doesn't die to Sucker Punch in, in uh, Cinderace. So, if Cinderace uses Sucker Punch, I will lure it with that because, you know, Killing a Dragapult is, al is always big, so instead of, of myself attacking, I'll just bait him to attack me with Sucker Punch and then Willow Wisp and I'll neutralize a bit of the, of the damage it can do. Other than that, it, I use the U-turn to pivot, Dragon Darts and Phantom Force for coverage. Uh, infil why Infiltrator? Because Infiltrator... Basically, if I am running Life Orb, I want to use Life Orb to the best pot potential. So if the opponent uses Light Screen or Substitute, that will ruin the... the what, you, what, what can I use in this context? Um, 
let's say the light form won't be as efficient as it should be, so the best choice is to use infiltrator. If I, I get intimidated, I can always you turn to something else and I'll be good. I'll do a source dance in case there's something passive in front of Alucha, then I can dine max. This is not supposed to be tile. <laughs> Taunt. Uh, Swords Dance. I can go close combat and activate White Herb and get a Burn and Boost. Then I can just Dynamax or keep, or keep going without Dynamax. And Taunt just to prevent uh, Stealth Rocks and stuff like that. So yeah, sorry. Now Volcaron, Heavy Duty Boots because it's weak to Rocks. Fever Dance, Fairy Dance, Blood Buzz, Psychic. Nothing too, too out of the ordinary. Maybe Psychic is a bit different than usual, but I chose Psychic over Giga Drain because I have Cradley for last moves and I don't have really Psychic coverage here, so yeah, that's alright. I am going to do the more defensive side of my team. We have Gastrodon with Storm Drain. It, it's actually my first Storm Drain out of two I have. Cradley as well as Storm Drain. Recover to recover HP, Scald to burn, Yarn to make opponents fall asleep, also good during Dynamax. And they have power for more coverage, more stab. Uh, the spread, I don't remember why it's like that. I think I can, I can go here. Oops, no. Uh, I stole most, most moves at 10 spreads from Smogon's analysis, very useful. Uh, I think it's here, uh, yeah, this is right here. I, want some, I also want, to, want a team that can be used on ladder, so yeah. You are reading right here what this spread can do. So yeah, this is it. Uh, next, Cradley, the, the, the weird mon of my team. Uh, actually, I, I think I'm going to remove Wing Rain and go recover. Big root and big root to to amplify the usage, the HP recovery of Giga Drain and Leech Seed. Uh, especially defensive because there will be the Charizards and stuff like that, you know. Uh, what else can I say? Yeah, I think that's it to, to, about this Pokemon. And last but not least, Skarmory for the Hazards. I only first body press the marvelous combo I got. Roost to recover HP, Rocky Helmet to wear down the physically defensive, the uh, physical, the physically offensive opponent. Sturdy to not be one hit KO'd, and that's it. That's all I have to say. Now it's time to do some action. Okay. You know, in the background, I did three Dynamax raids and not even a sign of Snorm. I could easily go do the time rewind. I don't say I don't think it's a glitch. It's more an exploit, but. Yeah, I, I could just spend 30 minutes messing with the clock of the switch and I'd get the snow in a minute. I have got more than a week for that, so no rush. Too many Pikumukus here. Now let's fight on ladder. Who's my opponent? Nobody? Everyone too scared to face me?
Come on. I can also practice in the Battle Stadium single series 14 ladder. I don't give a shit if people are using mythicals and stuff like that, I'll just defeat them all. Uh, the other day I defeated a guy with Zacian, Calyrax, blah blah blah, with uh, pretty much two Pokemon. One of them was more Peko, the other was Darmanitan, the IC Darmanitan, so even weaker Pokemon can destroy the, all those legendaries. More Peko with Choice Land and Aura Wheel can transform itself into a Dragon Dance boost. <laughs> it also tanked a, a strong, I think it was a max overgrowth from Kali Shadow. It, it was almost a 1 hit KO, but it resisted and then it, it proceeded to destroy the, <laughs> the, the Kali with a now Aura Wheel that took like. Uh, more than f like 60% on Dynamax with Choice Band, and then with that speed boost, it, it was able to outspeed the, the Kali Rest, and then boom, GG. <laughs> All right, oh, okay, I was going to cancel the search. Okay, nice teams, interesting stuff. I think I'm going to use Cradley here. Dragapult. I don't remember if my Dragapult was max speed. Maybe it was. I don't want to speed tie with other Dragapults. Uh, Cradley is coming as well. Uh, 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 what else? Maybe Arlucha. Arlucha, yes or no? Yes? Yes. your best shot. Wait. Okay, we have a Dragapult against the Gardos and it probably has Moxie. I'll start with a Will-O-Wisp and the burn is on. Dragon Dance is on as well and that's not cool. Uh, what type of move will that use? I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to find out. But I'll start reducing this attack power by Max Wyrm Wind. Uh oh, he goes for the <laughs> boom. There you go. Good start. Good start. And the mirror is in the wall. Yeah, <laughs> life four, baby. Let's see if the Dragapult can also die. Oh, Shadow Ball. Oh, specs, or maybe just a special offensive. Put. I don't know, but it's it's gone. <laughs> and here comes the Cindy. I'll switch in out. I mean, for that. Sucker Punch Bait. Let's see if he if he, bait, if he Sucker Punch... Yeah, he's going to. <laughs> you can fool me, boy. Now I'll suck his life off, out of the rabbit. Oh, no more Sucker Punch. That's not cool. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh... The speed boost is not, I mean, the yeah, the speed boost is not very beneficial to me. I, hopefully, I'm not throwing this match. <laughs> uh oh. Not cool. <laughs> uh, this is bad. I think I misplayed a big time here. <laughs> oh well. Uh, no. I really fucked up, fuck. At least he will fall in the bait right now. Oh, he didn't, what? Uh, shit. Ah, uh, come on. 
Not the best start. Very bad. Should have stayed with Ragapult in the field. Okay, what else? You have the three starters. Keys, Pult and the big Tyrant T-Rex. Mm. I'll go Pult again. Uh... Most of his Pokemon are physical, so I think I'll go like this, a more bulky approach. Hmm. Not the start I'd like to have, but... Maybe I should have started with Dragapult again. Jeez. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Two burns, really? Take the burn, motherfucker. What? Oh. It's not Libero. Oh my god. This fucking guy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Wait, rock. Uh. <laughs> uh oh, trouble, 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 trouble. Of situation here. Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> maybe it does, I don't know. Maybe I will kill it first. But now, I, I think this is the effect of multitasking. <laughs> Oh shit, barely survive. Now I can... <laughs> Oof. That was close. Now I can make it rain. Can you do more damage, please? I guess the the rain boost may be enough to knock him. Uh, oh shit! No. Well, that's GG. I think my team is good, but I and I'm distracted with the 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 rise here on Sword Shield. <laughs> Maybe that's what's making me lose. But whatever, you are you all are seeing a taste of this format, so that's the good part. Dangerous formation, a magneton, really. Hopefully, it has Eviolite or something like that. 
another Pyuku Moku, fuck's sake. Snom is nowhere to be found. And okay, now back to battle. Uh, Dragapult can do big damage to this team. It's super effective on Alakazam, Aegis Slash, Salamance. It also has a the Willow Wisp fuckery with Cindy. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else? I think I will go. Uh, the Dragapult, the Gastrodon, and uh, maybe Skarmory because he has too many. Ui. I think I pressed all Lucha. <laughs> Whatever. Look at me slay you right away. Unless he Dynamaxes turn one and I screw up. Oh, Scarf, okay. Not cool. Now he has a Dragon Dance effect on him. Not the best scenario. Mm. I need to do something quick or else I'll be history. <laughs> Not even the <a> skull. <laughs> I'll go Dynamax or Lucha. If he switches, I mean, he can switch out uh, right now, of course. Well, uh, I can also go protect. Uh, uh, yeah. Max Guard, then Max Airstream, then. I don't know, Max Knuckle. And then I can start using Close Combat to gain the Urban Unburden boosts. And then sweep, we'll see if that works. Okay, Lucha, bro. Confusion? Ah, uh, no confusion. Maybe I. I, <laughs> uh. I thought protecting would make it confused. But I wonder if I can outspeed it already. Wait, no. Yeah, I think I can. Okay, I have one burden already, I didn't even have to do that. <laughs> Magneton. That fucker will have sturdy probably, so... Oh, if you light, I guess. Oop. Gastro boy time. Gastro can still win. Let's see if I can predict a switch. I don't think Astro I don't think Magneton yeah. <laughs> uh, will he stay in? Will he leave? Let's see. He stays. Oh, and he, and he fucking crits me. <laughs> I'll just KO the Magneton before he does uh, any more damage. Oh boy. Have Cindy, please, so I can scald them. Okay. Energy ball incoming. That's not, not cool. Yeah, fuck's sake. <laughs> of course it had to be energy ball. I forgot to say GG, but... GG. 
Uh, having a losing streak today, not cool. So far these teams have been quite deeper offensive. Oh, there you go, that, that same guy from the first match. Uh, should I choose something different for the first slot? And remember what I picked, I think it was Gastro, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'll go Gastro. The Gyarados for the Moxie, maybe it attacks right now again, but I'll go Eloise. For the Burn, he goes Dragon Dance, yep. Same moves, same same turns. Oh, no freeze for Louise. Oh, very shocked. Devastating. Here comes Cindy. Sucker Punch won't do much because I'll just go Wormwind. Oh, actually, it did quite a lot. <laughs> but it's going down. No problem. I guess it's a GG unless this Ragapult outspeed me. Yep. Gastrodon uh, shall make it sleep. Unless it has Lumberry. Please don't be Lumberry. Okay, nice. Not a tweet KO, so I'm safe. And then I can start shooting skulls. Gastro has this match in the bag. Okay, four feet, finally a win. Meanwhile, the search for non shiny continues. I'm about to click another. Mag Mother Max Lair and it's a gold box. No snom. Uh, so to to talk about my upcoming videos. So considering the. The Sword Shield era is about to end, now I'm going to, for the for the next online competitions I'll do just one video instead of one for team building and other for laddering. Uh, this one is a team building and laddering. The next one I'll do will be for VGC series 13, because I'll, I'll, I still have my GMAX quest left to do, to, po to GMAX Pokemon left Mel metal and uh, garbodor i have already a Mel metal team that i can show next video and i'll also ladder that uh, what else next month i don't know if there will be one final one final online tournament for sword shield but if there is i will do a similar live stream like this one and and then to end the Sword Shield era in style, I'll do another VGC series for team video with 
with a GMAX Garbodor team I got. I'll use one similar to, I mean, I'll, I'll take one Series 12 team and adapt it a little bit for Series 13. I'm thinking about using one which has Scarf Darmanitan and replace Darmanitan with Victini. <laughs> and I guess that's it. It's it's a it was a debut for mythicals to appear in VGC format, even if it's a, a semi official format. Technically, technically VGC for Sorchill era is over. No more tournaments until then. Only laddering on sh on uh, I mean Shogun too, but on on Switch. But just like Series 6 was, I, I think Series 13 has the potential to be one of the most fun formats. Series 6 was quite centralized with the Porygon Z Clefairy combo and the, the Yoshifu and Dracozolt, those lesser used Pokemon. But I'm back. Uh. Okay, we got a match. Another repeat from a previous match we've had. Uh, so I'll go put. I will go. I'll go what? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to wait him to to use Rillaboom and set up Volcaron to sweep, and then leave Alucha for the uh, later game. Oh. Gee, nice crit. Crit burn? No. Let's see if this works. <laughs> he got debated. <laughs> All right. So he's going nasty plot, but I won't take that. I'll go Max Phantasm. Or else I'll get swept. Ooh. Double Dynamax, that's not fun. Oh, not a, to hit KO. Maybe I, I got a bad roll. Oh, Max R stream. Oh, critical hit. Serene. I mean, not, not stream away. Super lock. Oh, it outspeeds me. No, 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 no. Uh, well, I'm screwed again. Now what? Uh, maybe I'll go Gastro. Then <laughs> <laughs> okay. a and, and maybe Volcarona if the strong special defense can tank this. Uh, I need to attack though. Oh, for crit in the world. This must be Cynthia's uh, Togekiss. <laughs> Actually, her Togekiss has Serene Grace. Still, 
terrible to fight against. In love, I'll do a few more matches and then the stream. Oh, nice stream! Ice cream, look how you got jump. Man, the 10. Okay, so I see lots of weaknesses to stealth rock, so I guess I'll, I'll plant them with Skarmory. Mm, or maybe, yes, no, uh, depends, maybe. I was Skarmory, uh, no, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Uh, go up, Tails. Uh, 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 uh. I'll avoid going Astrodon because of freeze dry and stuff like that. This is good. He's going for the chomp chomp. I'll go iron defense. The kiss is in. <laughs> okay. You can yawn. But actually I, I'm in a corner because if he uses uh, probably won't use Dazzling Gleam. Okay, goes for the Heat Wave, not bad. I'll go for the Max Wyrm Wind. No, Max Phantasm better. Oh, double Dynamax. Oh, you can see the battle, what? Maybe it's a glitch of the internet, so uh, I'll, I'll be casting the, the... Oh, okay, shit. Togekiss used Max, max Starfall and Dragapult is down to 4% under Dynamax. Uh, I'll use Max Phantasm again on Togekiss. It will probably not be enough to knock it out, but... Okay. 22% HP and Dragapult is dead by the life orb recoil so now i'm down to two pokemon uh, tough situation because togekiss is still a big threat and actually i will check no ah togekiss is at minus two defense so if i go acrobatics i'll lucha maybe i can knock it out let's try i'll lucha we lose acrobatics togekiss isn't outspeeding me in this battle. Oh, yes. No oh, critical hit. Nice. I don't think if the crit mattered, but it uh, knocked it out anyway. The next Pokemon is when he looks. Took some nice damage from the Stealth Rocks I planted. I'm gonna go close combat. Oh, it's a Scarf. Blizzard one shotted my Alucha. <laughs> Now it's Skarmory versus Chomp and uh, Venilux. Bad matchup actually, but uh, I need to spam Roost. Oh, a critical hit! Almost it will be a one hit KO. Jesus, this thing is fucking nasty. I think it's GG because the ale is too dangerous. All I can do is spam Roost and yeah, it's GG. I'm out. I lost again. Considering the stream has technical issues, I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. You you had a, a small preview of what's to come in the next Champions League format. I'm sure this, this will be an interesting format to ladder on the Nintendo Switch games. 
looking forward to see the crazy teams people come up with so yeah that's it uh, somewhere between the 20 and 30 September I'll do the series uh, 13 video with G Maximo Metal Team I can also show you the team oh yeah you can see <laughs> uh, eh, I'll wait until then eh, no rush I hope you enjoyed this analysis on the format hope you enjoyed these battles you could see and hear <laughs> so goodbye good night have a great weekend